everyone, I'm Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy. I recently shared a layered calendar design for 2024 featuring some cute kitties and now I have a dog version as well. Since then I've seen a lot of new faces in my Facebook group and I've gotten a lot of questions in my inbox so I thought I'd make a quick video today and show you how you can utilize these calendar designs if you're new to Cricut or just having trouble with the process in general. Once you've been to my website designsbymissmandy.com and downloaded the calendar you want you'll need to unzip the file. On most computers all you'll need to do is simply double click the zipped file. Once extracted, you'll see two folders, one with the draw images and the other with the print and cut versions. You'll also see a PDF version that's intended for anyone who might not have access to a cutting machine but still wants to print the design and cut it by hand. I'll start today by showing you how to utilize the print and cut files. So you're going to open up Cricut Design Space and click on the new project button. In the toolbar on the left, select upload and then upload image. From there, you can just drag the files right over and just upload them into Design Space. Unfortunately, you will have to do this one at a time, but hopefully it won't take you too terribly long. So once I have this in here, I'm just going to select the image type. I like to go with complex, even though this is a fairly simple image, I just don't want my image to come out blurry. Don't have to worry about removing a background, so I'm just gonna hit apply and continue. And then print then cut image and hit upload. Now you'll see your design in here. Once you have all of them uploaded, and you can see I have my dog ones in here already, I'm just going to select all of them. You can do this just by um, holding shift as you select them. We're gonna say I'm just gonna include the January cat one as well and just hit add to canvas. And you may get a low resolution warning over here in the layers panel, but don't be alarmed. These designs are indeed sized correctly and should print out just fine. Cricut will automatically recognize these as print and cut. So if you see in the operations panel, it'll already say print and cut. So there's really nothing you need to do at this stage besides hit make. This is where your own personal preference will really come into play. You're gonna need to think about which months you would like to be on which colors of paper and arrange them accordingly. Each sheet is actually large enough to fit at least two. Actually, I don't think any more than two, but they should be able to fit two. If you just center it and then rotate it, then you can move this up here and I could add the next one if I'd like to as well, just by hitting move object, putting it on a different sheet and then rotating it like so. You can make sure they're not touching just by clicking on both of them like that. I'm not going to go through all of them right now, but once you have each of them arranged the way you would like, then you can hit continue and then you'll be able to send the designs to your printer. The add a bleed will automatically be turned on, but I recommend turning it off just so it doesn't uh, blur any of your edges. This, these are just for all intents and purposes on white backgrounds, so you won't need to worry about a bleed for this project. And then after your designs are printed, you can cut them out on your machine normally. And as long as you chose paper colors that aren't too dark and there aren't any bright lights shining directly over your machine, your Cricut should be able to read the registration marks just fine, even if you print them on colored paper. Now I'll show you how to utilize the draw version of these files. Once again, we're gonna open up Cricut Design Space and hit new project. In the toolbar on the left, we're going to select upload and then upload image. From there, you can drag your files over one at a time and upload them here. Side note, when I initially added this version of the file as an option, I had all of the calendar images in one file, but unfortunately the complexity of the design was causing a lot of people to get an image load error when trying to import the design onto their canvas, so I went back and added individual calendar files for each month, and they seem to work okay now. But it does mean that you'll have to um, upload them individually, unfortunately. I'm gonna go ahead and add this calendar to my canvas, and then show you uh, what to do next. This version of the file will require a little bit more setup initially compared to the print and cut files, but it isn't too bad. What I'm gonna do first is just hit this button here, ungroup. Then with everything selected, hold the shift key and then scroll all the way down and just click on the background image. This will make sure that everything except for the background is selected and then go up here to the operation menu, click the drop down, and select pen. Finally, hold shift again, scroll to the bottom again, and select the background image, and then hit attach. 
Once you've done that with each of your calendar pages, then you'll be ready to go and you can just hit make. After that, you can cut it the same way you would with any other SVG cut file and your Cricut will sort it onto the proper mats for you. Thanks for watching this video and if you're new to Designs by Miss Mandy, I just want to say welcome! There are so many talented crafters in this community already and I'm so glad to have you here. I hope you stick around because I have lots of fun, free paper crafts to come. Until next time, happy crafting!